justice roll on like a river, their worship turn into revival, Lord, lead us back to you. So come, move, let justice roll on like a river, their worship turn into
Good morning, welcome or welcome back. I'm Charlotte Bryan and I'm on staff here at Village. Please fill out a connect card before you go, found in the seat back in front of you. If you're new to Village, welcome. Pick up your welcome bag from the back alcoves or info counter before leaving today. Normally we invite you to our newcomers lunch today, but as it's the beginning of summer, we're delaying a month. Mark your calendars for the newcomers lunch on July 31st, right after service. The Village Directory is ready for pickup. Visit the table in the lobby today to sign out your copy. Going forward, you can stop by the front office during normal business hours to sign out your copy. Those hours are Mondays through Thursdays, 9 to 4.30, and Fridays, 9 to noon. Last week, we talked about the many ways you can serve our community here at Village. Visit our hiring page to see all the positions we're currently hiring for. Those include full-time positions like Director of Creative Arts and Worship, and part-time positions like nursery workers, cafe baristas, and much more. Get all the details at villagebeaverton.com forward slash hiring. We also highlighted many ways to connect with the next generation in kids and youth ministries. From check-in admins to small group leaders, from pre-K to high school seniors. Over the summer, our kids are seeking connections more than ever. Consider stepping up in these summer months and working with our kids. We need several volunteers to join the kids ministry and youth ministry teams. In kids, volunteers welcome families and create a loving, nurturing environment for kids of all ages. Through stories, themed crafts, and discussion, each week is a cohesive time that supports our kids as they begin their walk with the Lord. In youth, mentors worship alongside our youth and help facilitate discussions as our students walk with the Lord through one of the most important times of their lives. We do need a few more mentors to keep our Wednesday DNA groups as smaller settings and our Sunday Youth Church well-staffed. Please consider serving in kids or youth ministry. Maybe serving once or twice a month is better for your schedule or something a little more behind the scenes starting out. Please reach out to Pastor Ruth and Pastor Drew about the many opportunities we have available. You can email them or reach out through today's bulletin. Well, in today's service, Pastor Mauricio Rivas will preach for us on rejoicing in God's creation. But first, let's worship, led by Pastor Monica Ibarra. Good morning, church. Will you please stand with us? It is such a joy to be gathered together in this place today, to join our voices in praise and worship, and to simply glorify God together. This week, as I thought about what our weekend might look like, I was inspired by the book of Psalms and the way that it expresses every emotion under the sun in its rawest ways. Psalms 90, one through two declares God as our safe haven. Lord, you have been our refuge in every generation before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world. From eternity to eternity, you are God. Psalm 51, 1 is a prayer of repentance. Be gracious to me, God, according to your faithful love. According to your abundant compassion, blot out my rebellion. Psalm 74, 1 is a prayer of confusion and pain. Why have you rejected us forever, God? Why does your anger burn against the sheep of your pasture? And Psalms 147.1 is a song of praise. Hallelujah, how good it is to sing to our God. For praise is bless, pleasant and lovely. No matter what emotion is being conveyed and felt, each poem and prayer glorifies the Father and the Lord listens. This morning as we create this space of sacred worship together, I invite all of us to worship God with every emotion we may be feeling, bringing our vulnerable hearts to God and making that our sacred offering. If you are new to our church, welcome. We're so excited to have you. This is our home where we encourage everyone to come as they are and to celebrate each other's differences. One way we do this is by singing in different languages. So you will hear us singing these next two songs in Korean, in English, and in Spanish. We invite you to sing with us, whether that be in your own heart language or in the heart language of our brothers and sisters around you. But most importantly, we invite you to love one another deeply as you embrace the kingdom of God. Amen. 
let us worship. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. And praise God from this morning and sing, God, you are king. Amen. Let us sing.
Good morning. <laughs> My name is Michelle Jutton. I am a ministry assistant to Intel Kang within community development. Um, ironically, I've been here for almost 26 years of my life, and I have never done morning announcements. So bear with me. We'll get through this together. <laughs> uh, this previous week, we had a lot to celebrate. We had Father's Day. We had Juneteenth. We had one of my personal favorites, which was uh, National Food Truck Day. <laughs> but uh, one thing that I came up to talk about is actually World Refugee Day, um, which was this week, and this Sunday is supposed to celebrate World Refugee Sunday as well. Um, this year, we have surpassed over 100 million refugees in the world. In the last few months, we started hearing about the Ukraine war, which has now displaced over 14 million people. On top of that, we've had Syria, Sudan, Afghanistan, Congo, uh, fill in the blank. <laughs> um, but with some good news to that, we've had over 500 Afghani refugees settle here um, in Portland. And in the last week, we've had over 22 families settle here that are Afghanistan, Congo, Syria, and Guatemala. Here at Village, we really want to be a church where people can come and feel safe and welcomed and ultimately God's love for them. And because of that, we've been able to partner with some amazing refugee organizations uh, that we want to continue doing that. So in regards to World Refugee Day, or in our case, World Refugee Sunday, we wanted to raise some more awareness to continue to pray for those that are in difficult situations those that uh, are trying to settle here and those that are settling here but may have difficulty in finding a job or food or just feeling welcomed. Uh, if, this is some, if you are new here and this is something you are interested in, please talk to one of our staff so we can get you into some of the programming that we have. We have medical clinics, we have dental clinics, we did a food distribution uh, during the pandemic and we want to start, that, uh, start some of those programs up again. Um, and we are very excited to continue those events to show love to our neighbors when they may not have had great neighbors in the past. So, all right, I did it. That announcement is over. If you all could stand up and start greeting the neighbor next to you, uh, we will get started back in a couple minutes. Thank you.
19, 1 through 6. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. Buenos días. Que el Señor me los bendiga. Good morning, may the Lord bless you. Yo soy Mauricio Rivas, uno de los pastores acá en nuestra comunidad. I'm Pastor Mauricio Rivas, one of the pastors here in our community. Este es el día que Dios ha creado. This is the day that the Lord has made. Nos vamos a gozar y alegrar en él. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Usted está en el mejor lugar. You are in the best place this en morning. En la casa de Dios. In the house of the Lord. Y juntos alabando a aquel que vive por siempre. And together worshiping the one that lives eternally forever. Esta mañana tengo el privilegio de compartir con ustedes regocijándonos en la creación de Dios. Uh, this morning I have the privilege to uh, talk uh, with you about rejoicing in God's creation. Y estaremos hablando sobre regocijarnos en la creación de Dios. And we will be talking about rejoicing in God's creation. Y no tomaré tiempo para hablar de la teoría del Big Bang. And I'm, to, I'm not going to spend my time here talking about the Big Bang theory. O la teoría de, de la evolución. Or the evolution theory. O leyes físicas de lo que dice la ciencia acerca de la creación. O physical law of uh, what the science says about creation. Me enfocaré en lo que la escritura enseña. I will focus on what the scripture teaches. Ya que como cristianos, hijos de Dios, since as uh, Christian uh, children of God, no creemos lo que las escrituras enseñan porque toda la Biblia es inspirada por Dios. We believe in what the scripture teaches because it says that the entire Bible is inspired by God. No podemos creer en Juan 3:16. We cannot believe in uh, John 3:16. Que dice, porque de tal manera amó Dios al mundo que dio a su Hijo unigénito. Uh, for God so loved uh, the world that he gave his uh, one and only son. Para que todo aquel que en él crea no se pierda, mas tenga vida eterna. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Y, y no creer en Génesis 1.1. And not believe uh, what Genesis 1.1 said. En el principio creó Dios los cielos y la tierra. Uh, in the beginning God created the heaven heavens and the earth. Aunque el mundo ha ido evolucionando y lo continuará haciendo a although, través de los siglos. Although the world has been evolving and will continue to do through the centuries. Debemos de tener la certeza sin ninguna duda que nuestro Dios, el Dios de la Biblia, es el creador de todo cuanto existe. Está muy largo eso. Mm -hmm. We must... I said that's too long, okay? I'm, I have, I'm here to interpret everything he's saying. But I have to stop him mm -hmm. for now, so the rest will, be, go, will go smoothly. Are we okay on that? Uh, I'm not, but okay. I have to tell you a secret. I have to tell you a secret. You know, with, with our wives, sometimes we don't have a choice. <laughs> yes. We have to say yes, amen, you right? Do, no, you do have a choice <laughs> with me. I do, I do. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to tell you a secret or share a secret with you. Every time I do this... It's not that I'm saying, good job. I'm saying, <laughs> slow down, okay? <laughs> okay, there we go. Debemos de tener la certeza, amados. Okay, we sin have... Sin ninguna duda que nuestro Dios... Segui. Es el Dios de la Biblia, es el creador de todo cuanto existe. Okay, although the world, he was saying, although the world, the, the world is uh, evolving and will continue to do through the centuries, we must be certain... Listen to this. We must be certain without any doubt that our God, 
the God of the Bible, is the creator of everything that exists. Amen. He tenido el privilegio de viajar a muchos lugares hermosos. I have uh, had the privilege to travel to many beautiful places. Pero de todos ellos hay uno especial que tanto a mí como a mi esposa nos gusta ir. But out of all of those places we have visited, there is one that stand out uh, that both me and my, my wife like to travel to. Y es hacer un recorrido por carro por las cordilleras las montañas rocosas. And it's a road trip we go on through the Rocky Mountains. Que están entre Alberta, British Columbia, en Canadá. Uh, the Rocky Mountains range between Alberta and British Columbia, Canada. Y terminar en un mágico pueblo llamado Banff. And we end this trip in this magical town called Banff. Y, y de ese lugar conectarnos a diferentes lugares como el Lago Luis. And from this uh, uh, town we connect to the surroundings areas like Lake Louise. Jasper y muchos más. Jasper and many others. Recuerdo que en uno de nuestros viajes manejando muy tarde. I remember that in one of our trips we drove very late at night. Íbamos de noche rumbo a nuestro hotel. Heading to our hotel. Y empezamos a ser testigos de focos de luces púrpura mm -hmm. verde. And we start witnessing spotting lights of purple and green lights. Bailando a través del cielo negro de la noche. Dancing in the black night sky. What sounds is so beautiful. Fue algo pero maravilloso. Vimos puntos brillantes y columnas de muchos colores. Uh, we saw glowing spots and columns of many different colors. Se movían como las olas del océano en el cielo. Moving like the waves of the ocean in the sky. Es hermoso. Todo lo que gira en base a la naturaleza y la creación de Dios. It is beautiful that everything function according to its nature and, and God's plan of creation. La pregunta es. The question here is. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que pudiste disfrutar de la belleza de un paisaje? When was the last time that you can enjoy the being all of the beauty of uh, the Lord? La última vez que te estremeciste ante el poder de la naturaleza. The last time, the question also is, when was the last time that you were uh, shaking before the power of nature? Verdaderamente la creación fomenta nuestra adoración. Truly, creation should foster our uh, worship. El salmista nos dice que hay un mensaje resonante en toda la creación. The psalmist tell us that there is a resounding message in all of creation. Los cielos cuentan la gloria de Dios. Psalm 19 says the heavens declare the glory of God. Y el firmamento anuncia la obra de sus manos. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Un día emite palabra a otro día. Day after day they pour forth speech. Y una noche a otra noche declara night sabiduría. Night after night they reveal knowledge. La creación de Dios es un mensaje sin palabras. God's creation is a message without words. El apóstol Pablo dijo que la belleza de la creación está primero en esas cosas invisibles. Uh, the apostle Paul says that the beauty of creation is first seen in the invisible. Su eterno poder y deidad mm -hmm. the se hace claramente visible desde la creación del mundo. Uh, uh, I'm going to repeat this again. The Apostle Paul says that the beauty of creation is first seen in the invisible qualities of God, His eternal power and divine, divine nature. Siendo entendidas por medio de las cosas hechas, de modo que no tienen excusas, Romanos 1.20. His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made. ¿Cuál es el mensaje de la creación? What is the message of creation? El principal mensaje del relato de la creación es que hay un solo Dios. The main message of the story of creation is that there is only one God. Un Dios bueno. A God that is good. Un Dios santo. A God, a holy God. Un Dios todopoderoso. An uh, almighty, powerful God. Lleno de toda gloria, de sabiduría. Full of glory and wisdom. Que creó el mundo y todo cuanto existe. Who created the world and everything that exists. Agustín de Hipona yeah. decía. Augustine of Hippo or Hippo said. Que la naturaleza es el primer libro escrito por Dios. That nature is the first book written by God. Y que el mundo era una hoja en blanco que Dios llamó a la existencia. And that the world was a blank page that God spoke into existence. Por el poder de su palabra. By the power of his word. 
En la naturaleza aún dice Hipona resuena el eco de su voz. And Hipona said in nature we can still hear the resounding echo of his voice. Esto no significa que podamos comunicarnos con Dios a través de la creación. This doesn't mean that we can communicate with God through creation. Como si pudiésemos conectar con la divinidad a través de las rocas, as, el sol o la brisa. As if we could connect with divinity through the rock, the sun, the air or the breeze. U usted conoce o ha escuchado personas I think that you know, maybe heard people que al sol le llaman el Dios Sol. That to the, the sun they call the sun god el dios luna the moon god or the, the yeah the moon god la madre tierra the mother earth etc 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 a esto se le conoce como panteísmo this is known as a pantheism más bien quiere decir que but, nuestros corazones y mentes son estimulados por la creación but rather this means that our hearts and mind are stimulated by creation para engrandecer al creador to exalt al dios the creator, de la biblia our god the god of the bible la naturaleza nos lleva a considerar la majestad del creador a nature lead us to consider the majesty of uh, the creator y conmueve nuestros corazones en alabanza and our hearts in our worship que dios sea el creador es un motivo de adoración uh, god being the creator is a great reason for our praise and es worship es un motivo de alabanza it's our it should be a motive of our uh, worship y con justa razón el salmista lo expresó con una invitación and the psalmist expressed himself with an invitation and he said y él dijo venid aclaremos alegremente a jehová he said, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Cantemos con júbilo a la roca de nuestra salvación. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Lleguemos ante su presencia con alabanza. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. Aclamémosles con cánticos. And exalt him with music Ponga atención, and songs. Porque Dios es Dios grande. Pay attention to this portion. It says, for the Lord is the great God. Y rey grande sobre todos los dioses. The great king above all gods. Porque en su mano están las profundidades de la tierra. In his hands are the depth of the earth. Y las alturas de los montes son suyas. The mountain peaks belong to him. Suyo también el mar. The sea is his. Pues él lo hizo. For he made it. Y sus manos formaron la tierra seca. And his hands formed the dry land. Venid, adoremos y postrémonos. Come, let us bow down in worship. Arrodillémonos delante de nuestro Jehová, nuestro Hacedor. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Porque Él es nuestro Dios. For He is our God. Y nosotros pueblo de su prado. And we are the people of His pasture. Y ovejas de su the mano. The flock under His care. Amen. La Biblia comienza, mis amados hermanos. Uh, the Bible, my dear uh, uh, brothers and sisters, belong. Con la historia de la creación. Uh, the Bible begins with the story of creation. Expresando que desde el principio. Expressing that from the beginning. Dios es el creador de todo lo que existe. God is the creator of everything that exists. Y reitera esta comprensión de los orígenes desde el Génesis hasta el Apocalipsis. And it reiterates the same understanding from Genesis to Revelation. Las enseñanzas de la Biblia acerca de la creación son fundamentales para nuestra fe the cristiana. The teachings of the Bible about creation are fundamental to our Christian faith. Cuando vemos la doctrina bíblica de la creación, when we see the biblical uh, doctrine of creation, Se debe de entender que la Biblia no afirma ser un libro de texto we científico. We must understand that the Bible does not affirm itself as a scientific book. Tampoco se debe esperar que la Biblia we also should not expect that the Bible pretenda comunicar un mensaje que utilice terminología científica moderna. Uh, uh, the Bible pretend to communicate a message that utilizes modern scientific terminology. La escritura no es un libro de teorías. The scripture is not a book of theories. No es un método científico no, de explicación. Not a method of scientific explanation. El autor principal de las escrituras es Dios mismo. The main author of the scripture is God itself. Y si el mundo, la creación, el espacio y todo esto es muy complejo and para yes, entender the y explicar. World, the creation, space o heavens, all of this is very complex to understand and explain. La misma palabra de Dios no lo explica the simple y sencillamente. God explain it very simple in Dios a simple way. Creó los cielos y la tierra. The Bible said God created heaven 
and earth. Y por eso es que la Biblia declara por sí misma que es confiable. And this is why the Bible declares for itself that it's trustworthy. Que es veraz en truthful. todo lo que enseña. And it's truthful in everything it teaches. Sea en materia de fe. Whether uh, it, it be talking about faith. De historia. History. O del orden creado. Or the created order. Dice 2 Timoteo 3.16. 2 Timothy 3.16 says. Toda la escritura es inspirada that, por Dios. That all the scripture is God breathed. Útil para enseñar, and it's useful for teaching, para redarguir, rebuking, para corregir, correcting, para instruir en justicia, and training in righteousness. Dios es el creador de todas las cosas. God is the creator of all things. Amen. En los relatos de la creación en Génesis, in the in the stories uh, or narrative uh, of uh, creation in Genesis, a través del Antiguo y Nuevo Testamento, and through the Old and New Testament, la Biblia enfatiza que Dios es el creador. The Bible emphasizes that God is the creator. No solo de la tierra, not only of the earth, y de sus habitantes, and His inhabitants, sino de todo lo que existe. But also, also of everything that exists. Nehemiah 9:6 dice lo siguiente. Nehemiah 9:6 says as follows. Tú solo eres Jehová. You alone are the Lord. Hiciste los cielos. You made the heavens. Y los cielos de los cielos. Even the highest heavens. Con su ejército, and, la tierra y todo lo que en ella está. And all their starry hosts, the earth and all that is on it. Los mares y todo lo que hay en ellos. The seas and all that is in them. Tú vivificas todas las cosas. You give life to everything. Y los ejércitos de los cielos and the multitudes of heaven te adoran. Worship you. Amen. En las mitologías antiguas, in ancient uh, mythologies, se concibe que los dioses crearon algunas cosas. It was thought that their God uh, created, created some things, created Pero some things. Siempre a partir de cosas materiales But always from pre-existing material things. Sin embargo, however, la declaración bíblica de que Dios es el creador de todas las cosas. The biblical statement that our God The God of the Bible is the creator of all things. Lo distingue This, de estos dioses paganos the, y sus ídolos. Distinguish him uh, from all of these uh, pagan gods and their idols. Por eso el Salmo 96, 5 dice lo siguiente. And then we get to scripture again. Porque Psalm 96, 5 says as follow. For all of the gods de los pueblos son ídolos. of the nations are idols. Pero Jehová hizo los cielos. But the Lord made the heavens. Amen. Amen. Darwin en su teoría de la evolución, uh, Darwin in, in his evolution theory, supone que el universo y todas las formas de vida, supposes that the universe and all type of life, incluida la humana, include, including the human evolucionan life, espontáneamente evolve, por fuerzas mecánicas, evolve spontaneously for uh, mechanical uh, forces. La fe cristiana se ancla en la creación. Uh, Christian faith anchored itself in creation. No somos algo evolutivo. We are not something ev uh, ev that is evolving. Somos creados por un arquitecto perfecto we, llamado Adonai. Hallelujah. We are created by a perfect architect named Adonai. Ese Dios del universo y de todo cuanto existe. He is the God of the universe, the Lord of all creation. La creación realmente es una realidad. Creation is a reality. No es cuestión que nosotros venimos del mono. It's not a thing that we come from the monkey. Right? El libro de Génesis no es un libro de ciencia. Lo dije anteriormente. The book of Genesis is not a, a book of science. Uh, it's not a scientific book. I said it before. Ni es un libro de apología. Nor is an apologetic book. Podemos decir que el libro de Génesis es un libro de fe. We can say that the book of Genesis is a book of faith. El libro de Génesis no intenta demostrar o convencer, sino darnos a conocer lo que Dios hizo. The book of Genesis hizo. does not intend to demonstrate or try to convince us, but rather to tell us what God did in the beginning. De una forma sencilla, comprensible para nosotros. In a simple, understandable way for us. Los capítulos 1 y 2 de Génesis describen con exactitud la armonía de la creación. Chapter 1 and 2 of Genesis describe with accuracy the harmony of creation. De una forma perfecta. In a perfect order. En el primer día Dios creó la noche y el día. First day, you know this, God created the night and the 
uh, the night and the day. En el segundo día Dios creó los cielos y el agua. Second day he created the skies and the water. Dios creó las plantas. God created the plants. Dios creó la luna. God created the moon. El sol y las estrellas. The sun and the stars. Dios creó las aves y los peces del mar. God created the birds and the fish and the ocean. Y en el sexto día Dios creó los animales and the y creó al hombre. Day, God created animals and men. El mensaje de que Dios es el único creador se ha comunicado claramente. The message that God is only created has been clearly communicated. A través de los tiempos. Through the, through the ages, through the centuries. A todos los que han escuchado, to, leído del relato de Génesis. To all have listened and read the narrative of Genesis. La sencilla y el poder de la belleza de the, estos relatos de la creación contrastan the simplicity, the power and the beauty of this creation narrative contrast de manera vivida con la grandeza de un Dios todopoderoso contrast vividly with the greatness of an almighty God un Dios existente desde el principio de la eternidad an existing God from the beginning of eternity. La Biblia acepta y enseña con claridad que Dios existía antes que todas las cosas. The Bible teaches and accept with clear clarity that God existed before all things. Él trajo el universo a la existencia a partir de la nada. He brought the universe into existence from nothing. Es decir, sin materia preexistente. That is to say without any preexistent materials. El salmista nos dice que existe un mensaje que resuena en toda la creación. The psalmist tells us, tells us that there is a message that resounds in all creation. Y mira lo que dice el Salmo 104. And we will look to some of the verses in Psalm 104. Tú pusiste la tierra sobre los cimientos. Verse 5 said he set the stars on its foundation. Y de ahí jamás se moverá. And it can never be moved. Tú hiciste la luna. Verses 19-20 said he made the moon que las to mark the seasons y el sol que sabe and the sun who, uh, knows when to go down. Tú traes la oscuridad y cae la noche. You bring darkness and it becomes night. Y en su sombra se arrastran los animales and all del bosque. of the beasts of the forest crawl. Oh, Señor, cuán numerosas son tus obras. Verse 24 says, How many are your works, Lord? Todas ellas las hiciste con sabiduría. In wisdom you made them. Rebosa all. la tierra con todas tus the criaturas. The earth is full of your creatures. Ahora bien. Amen. La creación de Dios tiene propósitos. Now I have to tell you this: the creation of God has purpose. Cuando vamos a Isaías 43:7. When we read Isaiah 43:7. Todos los llamados de mi nombre. It says, everyone who is called by my name. Ponga atención. Pay Para attention. Gloria mía los he creado. Pay attention to this who, whom I created for my glory. Los formé whom y I los formed hice. and made. Tú y yo fuimos creado con propósito. You and I were Created with a purpose. Dios tiene un propósito para todos. God had a purpose for everyone. Y para todo lo que él ha creado. If, and for everything he has created. Podemos definir propósito como la intención original. We can define purpose as the original intention. O, o la razón por la cual algo fue creado. Or the reason why something was created. Mira, la Biblia deja muy claro que Dios creó al hombre para su gloria. Look at this and I want to make it clear to you. The Bible says that every human being was created uh, for his glory. Por tanto, el propósito fundamental del hombre, Therefore, the fundamental purpose of man, según la Biblia, according to the Bible, es it, que is, le it is simply to glorify God. Todo ser humano quiere saber el propósito de su existencia. Every human being wants to know the purpose of their existence. De hecho, hay Cuatro preguntas principales In fact, there are four question, main questions around que muchos buscan responder that durante many, toda su vida. That many seek, to, uh, seek for an answer during their lives. Primera pregunta. First question is, ¿Quién soy? Who am I? Esta es una pregunta de identidad. This is a question of identity. Segunda pregunta. Second question. ¿De dónde vengo? Where do I come from? Esta es una pregunta de origen. This is a question about origin. Tercera, ¿por Third, qué estoy acá? Why I'm here. Esta es una pregunta de propósito. This is a question about purpose. Y la cuarta es, ¿a dónde voy? And four, where am I going? Esta es una pregunta de destino. This is a question of destiny. Cuando encontramos las respuestas a estas preguntas when, cruciales, when we find the answer to these crucial questions Vamos a experimentar un auténtico gozo. we will experience an authentic joy 
Y el único que puede revelarnos la respuesta es nuestro and the creador. The only one who can reveal the answer we're searching for is our God creator. No conocer nuestros propósitos es como arar en el mar. To not know our purposes is like plowing on the sea. O, o caminar sin rumbo fijo. Or like walking uh, aimlessly. Nunca llegaremos a ningún lado. We will never get anywhere. Tristemente, Sadly, un gran porcentaje de hombres y mujeres a big percentage of men and women van a morir o ya murieron sin entender will die or already die without understanding para qué fueron creados why they were created sin descubrir su propósito aquí en la tierra. Or without discovering their purpose uh, cuando, here on earth. Cuando nuestras vidas carecen de sentido when our lives um, Uh, don't make any sense. El tiempo mismo puede convertirse en una Time carga difícil de can llevar. become a difficult burden to carry. ¿Cómo podemos dar gloria a Dios? How can we give glory to God? Y encontrar propósito and, de nuestra existencia. And find the purpose of our existence. Por ejemplo, I can give you some examples. Cuando servimos a otros, podemos darle gloria a Dios. When we serve one another, uh, we can give glory to God. Y encontrar propósitos. And find purpose. Otro ejemplo. Another example. Cuando compartimos el evangelio, damos gloria a Dios y encontramos propósito. When we share the gospel with others, we give glory to God and find purpose. En tercer lugar, third, cuando compartimos nuestras bendiciones, share, le da gloria a Dios y encontramos sharing, propósito. Sharing our blessings give glory to God and we find purpose. Reconocer que no solamente soy una creación de Dios. Recognizing that I'm not only a creation of God Pero que soy un hijo de él, but that I am a child of God trae a Dios brings y glory to God and then we find purpose on this. El hombre fue creado primeramente en la mente de Dios. Beloved, my, uh, man was created first in the mind of God. Por lo tanto, Therefore, podemos decir que antes de nacer ya somos. we can say that before birth we are. Y nuestro creador ya nos dio un propósito. And our creator has given us an, an um, unique purpose. Nadie nace por accidente o por casualidad. Nobody, nobody is born by accident or by chance. <laughs> Mira lo que dice Isaías 44.2. You can read with me what Isaiah 42 said. Lo dice de esta forma así, el Señor te creó. This is what the Lord said, he made you. Que te formó desde el seno materno. Who formed you in the womb. Y que te ayudará. And, will, and who will help you. El propósito nos da significado uh, a nuestra vida. Purpose give meaning to our lives. Tu nacimiento, mi nacimiento. Your birth, my birth. No fue un error o un mistake or a misfortune. Tu vida no es una casualidad de la naturaleza. Your life is not nature chance. Si tus padres no te planificaron, if your parents did not plan Dios to have you, sí lo hizo. God, he, God did. A él no le sorprendió tu nacimiento. It was not a surprise for him that más, you were born. Él te estaba esperando para amarte. Let me tell you this. One second. One second. Yeah. When we are born, Pastor was saying, It, 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 it doesn't surprise God. As a matter of fact, he was expecting us. He was waiting for us. So I think this is beautiful just to think that um, we're not created by chance or something happened and we are born and we don't know what is going to happen to our lives. God was expecting us. Isn't that beautiful to know that our Lord had uh, have us in mind? Es hermoso saber que no salimos de la casualidad, que no nacimos al azar, sino que nuestro Dios pensó y cuando nos formó nos esperaba desde ya. Pienso que es una frase preciosa. Gracias, Amen. Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Mauricio. Mucho antes de que fuera concebido en el vientre de tu madre. Uh, much before we were conceived in our mother's womb. Fuiste diseñado en la mente de Dios. You were the sign. This Él is beautiful. You were primero. the sign in God's mind. He thought of you. No es causa del destino. It's not because of destiny. Ni de la casualidad. Nor chance. Ni de la suerte. Nor luck. Ni tampoco es una coincidencia not, que en este mismo instante estemos respirando. Not is it a coincidence that now we're sitting here breathing. A amado, Dios nos hizo con un propósito. My beloved ones, God made us with a purpose. Él también decidió cuándo había de nacer. He also decided when, when 
uh, you will be born y cuánto has de vivir. and how long you will live. Él pensó de antemano en los días de tu vida. He thought beforehand in the days of your life. Escogió tu momento exacto de he, nacer he y de morir. Choose, he chose your exact moment of birth and death. Dios planificó también tu lugar de nacimiento. God planned your birth of place. Y dónde vivirías and para where sus you will propósitos. live for his purposes. Tu raza, tu nacionalidad, your, no son un accidente. Your race or nationality are not an accident. Qué aburrido sería que todos fuéramos hispanos, ¿no es cierto? How boring will be that all of us will be Hispanic here. Qué aburrido fuéramos que todos fuéramos coreanos, ¿no es cierto? Or that all of uh, will be Koreans in here. Qué aburrido fuéramos que todos fuéramos anglos, ¿no es cierto? Or all anglos in here. Qué aburrido fuera porque todos tuviéramos ojos azules. It would be so boring that all of us will walk with blue eyes. Qué aburrido sería si todos fuéramos morenos como yo. And it would be so boring that everyone will be brown like me. <laughs> Bajo la creación de Dios, todo tiene un propósito. Under God's creation, everything has a purpose. Aún más impresionante Even es el hecho de que Dios decidió ¿Cómo nacerías? Even more impressive is the fact that God decided how you will be born. Dios planeó crearte a pesar de las circunstancias. God planned to create you besides the circumstances de tu nacimiento. of your birth. ¿Y quiénes serían tus and padres? And whom your parents will be. Daba igual si tus padres eran buenos, malos o indiferentes. It didn't matter if your parents were good, bad or indifferent. Escucha, él sabía to this, he knew que esas dos personas poseían la that, la genética. That those two people had the exact genetic makeup la hechura exacta y necesaria the necessary to make you para acercarte a ellos. So you can be part of them. Dios pensaba en ti. God has been thinking of you. Ellos tenían el ADN que Dios quería para crearte. Those parents had the DNA that God wanted in order Dios to create you. Dios nunca hace nada por casualidad. God never does anything by chance. Dios no comete Nor errores en su creación. Nor does he make mistakes creación. in his creation. Remember this. Recuérdate, él tiene un propósito. Remember, he has a purpose. Para cosa, para cada cosa creada. For each thing he has created. Para los animales, las plantas. Animals, plants. Fue pensando por Dios. We're thought by our God. Cada persona fue In, creada con un propósito in, en mente. Including each person was created by God with a purpose in mind. Y el motivo de Dios para crearte fue su amor. And the reason, this is beautiful, the reason God created you was because of his love. La Biblia destaca the y dice lo siguiente. The Bible highlights this. En Efesios 1, 4. In Ephesians, Ephesians 1, 4, we antes read, de la fundación del mundo. He, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world. Él estaba pensando en nosotros. To be holy and blameless in his sight. Y se había predispuesto para que fuésemos el enfoque de su amor. I'm going to read it again and it's right there. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love. Dios pensó en nosotros God thought about us antes de crear al mundo. before he created the world. Somos el centro de su amor. We are the center of his life. Y lo más de todo, lo creado, and the most beautiful of everything that he created eres tú y soy yo. it is you and, and I. Santiago 1, 18, mira lo que dice. James 1.18 says as follows. nos hizo nacer mediante la palabra de verdad. He chose to give us uh, birth through the word of truth. Para que fuéramos como los primeros y mejores we, frutos de su creación. That we might be a kind of first fruit of all of he, he created. Fuimos creados para ser amados. We were created to be loved. Y por eso hoy tiene sentido San Juan 3.16. And this is why now that we are a child of God that we understand this. Dice la Biblia. John 3.16 uh, says. Por tanto... Porque tanto amó Dios al mundo For God so loved the world, que dio a su Hijo unigénito para que todo aquel que en él crea no se pierda that whoever believes in him shall not perish, sino que tenga vida but eterna. Have eternal life. Lo hizo por amor. God did all of this uh, for love. Se entregó por amor. He gave himself for love. Porque nosotros somos amados por Because Dios. Because we are loved by God. Dios nos dice en esta mañana, mira lo que dice. God is telling us this morning. Con amor eterno te he amado. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Por tanto te prolongué mi misericordia. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. 
El regocijo de la creación we re, uh, the, uh, the rejoicing of creation es que el creador sigue amando is su that creación. the creator keep on loving his creation Él está más interesado en las personas he is, he is more interested in people de lo que está por una estrella. than he is uh, for a star Mientras que el universo tiene un gran valor, although the universe, the universe has a great uh, value in his eyes a los ojos de Dios, la humanidad es aún más valiosa. humanity humanity is more value de hecho, Dios dio dominio a la humanidad sobre la creación. in fact when we read the, uh, the word of God God gave Uh, gave dominion to humanity over his creation. Dice el Salmo 8, 3, 6. Uh, Psalm 8, 3, 6 says as Cuando follows. Veo tus cielos, oh, when I consider your heavens, obra de tus dedos, the work of your fingers, la luna y las estrellas que tú formaste, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, digo, ¿qué es el hombre para que tengas de él memoria? What is mankind that you are mindful of them? Y el hijo del hombre para que lo visites. Human, being, human beings that you create for them. Lo has hecho poco menor que los ángeles. You have made them a little lower than the angels. Pero mira qué lindo lo que dice. But look how beautiful this is. Y lo coronaste de gloria y de honra. And crowned them with glory and honor. Y lo hiciste señorear sobre las obras de tus manos. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. Todo dice la palabra. The word of God says you put everything debajo de sus pies. Under their feet. Ahora bien, However, sin embargo, el hombre no fue fiel a Dios. Man, man was not faithful to God. Cuando el pecado entró, con el pecado vino la separación When de Dios. When sin came, then came along the separation of God from man. Todo lo que creó Adonai fue perfecto. Everything that Adonai created fue bueno. was perfect, was good. Pero el pecado comenzó a desfigurar esa relación But de Dios con el hombre. But sin to desfigure that relationship between God and man. Por eso encontramos en Romanos 5:12. And we read uh, Romans 5:12 as follow. Por tanto, como el pecado entró en el mundo por un hombre, therefore, just as the sin entered the world through a por man, por el pecado la muerte, and death through sin. Así la muerte pasó a todos los hombres. And in this way death came to all people. Por cuanto todos pecaron. Because all sin. Sin embargo, however, aunque el hombre cayó bajo las artimañas de Satanás, even though man fell uh, for Satan's deception, Dios tomó un paso tremendo y necesario God para recuperar took a tremendous and necessary step to recover lo que le pertenece desde el principio de la creación. What belonged to him from the beginning of creation. Dios desea tener una relación con su creación. God's desire is to have a relationship with his creation. Él anhela que la humanidad recurra a él. He desires that humanity resort to him. Con un corazón arrepentido. With a repentant heart. Rendido. Surrendered. A su gracia y a su amor. To his grace and love. Dios Padre nos da la reconciliación. God Father give us the reconciliation. Recuerde, somos hechura suya. Remember, we are his workmanship. Creados his workmanship. en Cristo Jesús Created para buenas obras. In Christ Jesus for good works. Dios Padre desea redimir y reconciliar su creación. God the Father desires to redeem and reconcile his creation. Y volvamos a San Juan 3, And let's go back to the Bible in John 3:16. Porque de tal manera amó Dios al mundo For que God dio a su so hijo unigénito. For the world that he gave his only Para que todo aquel que en él cree For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him no se pierda, mas shall tenga not vida perish but have eternal life. Esta era la única manera de redimir a la humanidad del pecado. This was the only way to redeem humanity from sin. Ese pecado que nos separa de Dios. The sin that separated from God. Dios ve un gran valor en la gente que ha creado. God sees great value in the people he created. Y él anhela and salvarnos. And desires to save us. El problema es que la humanidad no siempre responde al amor del Creador. The problem is that humanity doesn't always respond to the love of the Creator. Mirad, dice el apóstol Juan. John, the apostle John says, look. ¿Cuál amor nos ha dado el Padre que seamos llamados hijos de Dios? Look what great love the Father has lavished on us that we will be called children of God. Todo género humano es creación de Dios. All mankind is Uh, a creation of God. Pero no todos son hijos de Dios, But según not la de él. all of the creation is a child of God. 
Por eso vemos en San Juan 1.12. That's what we see John 1.12. Más a todos los que le recibieron. Listen to this. Yet to all who did receive him. A los que creen en su nombre. To those who believe in his name. Le dio la potestad de ser llamados hijos de Dios. He gave the right to become children of God. En la, en la actualidad el regocijo de la creación Today, de Dios. Today the rejoicing of God creation. Es que de ser creado por Dios. Is that from being created by hoy God. Hoy puedo llegar a ser hijo de Dios. We, you and I can become a child of God. Amados, estas dos frases, creado por Dios e hijo de Dios, Beloved, son diferentes. These two phrases, created by God and a child of God, are very different. Y, y necesitamos saber diferenciar como seres humanos and, que somos. And we must know how to defi uh, differentiate them as uh, humans. El Salmo 139 nos dice esta palabra poderosa. Psalm 139 says as follow. Dice que fuiste entretejido desde el vientre de nuestra madre. Uh, the Psalm 139 says that we were interwoven in our mother's womb. Tú creaste mis entrañas. You created my entrails. Me formaste en el vientre de mi you madre. You formed me in my mother's womb. Te alabo porque soy una creación I admirable. I praise you because I am an admirable creation. Fue él quien nos creó. He was the one who created us. Y usted sabe el proceso de la creación. And you know the process uh, of that creation. Pero como seres humanos but hay una sola manera. But as a human beings there is only one way de pasar de estado creativo to go a hijo de Dios. from the state of creation to become a child of God. La pregunta es, the question here is ¿qué es usted? what are you? ¿Es creación, are you, es hijo de are Dios? you only creation of God or you are a child of God? Esa respuesta es muy personal. That is a very personal response. Necesitamos recibir we need to receive Creer en el nombre de Jesús. Believe in the name of Jesus. Y de esa forma tenemos el derecho de ser hijos de Dios. Thus, we have the right to become a child of God. That's what we read in John 1.12. Concluyo con esto. Let me finish, conclude with this. Alabamos todo lo que Dios ha creado para we nosotros. We praise everything that God has created for us. Una creación Perfecta. A perfect creation. Aunque la caída del hombre por el pecado afectó nuestra relación Although con el Creador. The fall of man due to sin affected our relationship with, uh, with God, with Him. Alabamos a nuestro Creador en darnos un camino de reconciliación. We praise our Creator for giving us this path of reconciliation and redemption. A través de Jesucristo. Through Jesus Christ. Un día volveremos a ese estado de perfección. One day. Well, we will return to that state of perfection Cuando estemos con él por el resto where de la we eternidad. will be with him for all the eternity. Amen. Amen? Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Gracias, Señor, por ser mi creador. Thank you, Lord, for being my creator. Gracias porque hoy soy llamado tu hijo. And today I am called your child. Gracias, Señor, por enviar a tu Hijo Jesús. Thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus. A morir por mí. To die for me. Y ser este camino para restaurarme en mi relación contigo. And be um, this path to restore our, my relationship with you. Gracias por amarme. Thank you for loving me. Por redimirme. And, red, and uh, redeeming me. De mi estado caído. From my fallen state. Y liberarme de mis pecados. And giving me freedom from sin. Gracias, Señor, por mi vida eterna. Lord, thank you for my eternal life. Y has puesto a disposición de todo aquel que desea caminar contigo. That you have uh, made available to everyone who wishes to walk or desire to walk with you. Eternamente agradecido. Eternally grateful, Lord. Gracias por mostrarnos tus propósitos. For showing your purpose a to cada each of uno us. de nosotros. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, amen. Dios le bendiga, amado. May the Lord bless you, my brothers. We're now at the point in our service where we pause to reflect on the message. We pause to allow the spirit time to shape and to transform us.
to take the spoken word from our ears to our minds and then fully to our hearts. The word of God is living and active and in concert with the spirit penetrates the very depths of our soul and spirit. It's a spirit who searches everything, even the depths of God. And we have received the spirit of God so that we might understand the things of God. It's the spirit who will impart wisdom and is the wisdom discerned from today's message that we desire the spirit to speak into our hearts. I would invite you now to calm your thoughts and listen with a small, still voice to wait in quiet anticipation of how God may move at this moment. May your hearts be touched and your souls be refreshed by what God would say in this moment. I invite you now to listen and reflect. At this time, I'll invite our hosting team to come forward as we prepare to take our offering. And this offering is an opportunity to worship and glorify God with your tithes and offerings. It's one of the ways we return to God what he has blessed us with. It's also an opportunity for you to share your response of worship, which you can include in the offering. Join me as we pray over this offering. Lord God, we thank you for this day, for your goodness and your abundant blessings. We thank you for the resources you have entrusted to us. And as we give with joyful hearts, we pray that these funds would be used with wisdom and generosity. May all that is given be used for your kingdom and your glory. Amen.
of God's creation, each one of us carry a piece of the Father in us. Can you think about that for a minute? We are made in the image of the Father. And when you leave this place, people can see the radiance of his glory in you. You carry power. God is the source of all blessings in creation. Praise God that we are made by Him and can be called His children. 
God wants us to walk with Him and enjoy all of His blessings. If you have not made the decision to have a relationship with God yet and would like to, our leaders will be at the front of the stage here to talk to you and pray with you. I will start the benediction with Aaron's blessing in English, in Korean, and in Chinese. Let's pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. 여호와는 내게 복을 주시고 너를 지키시기를 원하며 여호와는 그 얼굴을 내게 비추사 은혜 베푸시기를 원하며 여호와는 그 얼굴을 내게로 향하여 드사 평강 주시기를 원하노라 예호와 주부게이니 바후니 예호와 Amen. Go in peace. God bless you.